you're a man of conviction. But it's my responsibility to point out the consequences of that way of thinking. Now, for you, winning is everything. But winning isn't something you could do alone. It requires excellent or, at the very least, competent coaching, contributing teammates, and God willing good health. And we all know that's not a guarantee. Now, the reality is you're not in control of any of those other factors. But if you, as the star player, fail to win and deliver a championship, you will be held responsible. You will be scapegoated, you will be villainized, and you will be punished accordingly. So when you say to me that as a free agent, all you care about is being in the best position to win, I understand what you mean. But again, that's not only up to you. Now, I'm going to call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm going to get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're going to love the free agency experience. Now, your relationship with Vic has unfortunately cost us in some of these negotiations. We had 10 teams interested. We now only have three. But thankfully, thankfully, you wised up when it came to Vic. Have you been in contact with Vic? Yo, freak, look at me. He still has one of my cars, Dom. What did I tell you about the L word? The L word? What is Loyalty. Uh. I don't know what kind of hold this Vic has over you, but it makes me scared. You're a free agent for the first time in your career, and the only person you need to be loyal to is you. You need to be an FOF. You need to be a friend of Freak. Let's forget about winning without appropriate compensation and loyalty that hasn't been earned and isn't deserved. This is a tough business, Freak. We need to be tougher. Come on. CC? Woo! Lord Jesus, I was about to blow a gasket. <sighs> okay, Freak. Now, there are very few options on the table, and I want you to explore them all before making your final decision. Whatever you decide, it needs to be an informed decision, not an emotional one. The larger the market, the greater resources at your disposal and exposure for you. But if you don't allocate these resources properly, then it's just a big spotlight on you as you lose. Well, thank you kindly, big sis. She's right, Freak. Thanks. Absolutely, Team Freak. That's what we're about. Oh, whoa, I don't know if I like this. What? Dom and CC high-fiving like that? I mean, yeah, why you got so certain I'm going to lose? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one thinks you're going to lose. Dude. You guys sure sound like it. We just want you to select a franchise that has great coaching, super talent, exposure, but most importantly, a ton of cap space. If the team doesn't win and you're to blame, at least you won't be broke, capiche? Capiche. Also, you should make sure it's somewhere you want to raise a family, but no pressure. Mm. <laughs> you guys have made this decision so much easier. What did mom and dad say? You know what they said. I mean, but honestly, I'm torn. I've heard and listened to what you've all had to say. Don't take this the wrong way. There's just one person I haven't heard from, and that's Vic. Oh, Lord, help us. Yo, Vic, where you at? I've been trying to call you, man. Hit me back. Do you know him? He's probably somewhere too loud to hear his phone. I don't know. I think Vic's actually upset with me.